it gave more for the given price, and that made the hype. And now, this is the upgrade. Lanicom po of Lanicom Views. Today, we will feature a new phone, ang next version ng Infinix Note line, the Infinix Note 8. Last year, nakuha ng Infinix Note 7 ang attention natin as it offered more than you can expect on a phone for the price. And now, giving out even more, here is Infinix Note 8. Inabangan nyo rin ba ang Infinix Note 8 dahil na-impress kayo sa Note 7? Comment kayo! Go, hintayin ko kayo! Bangkitin ko na din, this video is not sponsored. Salamat! Ngayon, sama-sama nating i-experience ang Infinix Note 8. To start, here are some notable specs ng Infinix Note 8. Ang octa-core processor na MediaTek GAT, 6GB of RAM, 128GB of storage, 4 cameras at the back, 64MP main camera, 2MP macro and portrait lens, at isang AI lens. In front, we have two cameras, 16 megapixel and a portrait lens, a 6.95-inch 720p display, dual speakers, 5,200 mAh battery, and all of this for 8,490 pesos. This is the green and black box of Infinix Note 8. Upon opening, the first layer, we have the phone, covered ito ng plastic film in front and at the back. Next is a cardboard compartment containing SIM ejector tool, clear case, X-Club and warranty document, and a screen protector film. Next is the compartment for the charging brick, USB-A to USB-C cable, and earphones. Tay natin ang case. The case protects the phone well as the camera bump and screen is not protruding. Great case to start with. That's it. The phone is now ready to use. Ang color na mayroon tayo ay ang deep sea green. The back is somehow similar to Infinix Note 7. It has geometric lines separating the different shades. On top is a brighter and on the lower part is a deeper in color. It is very reflective and you can see rays of prism light as you change angles. Mayroon ding available na colors na silver diamond and Iceland fantasy. The back is made of plastic with glass-like smooth texture. Sides are also made of plastic. If nakahawak na kayo ng Infinix Note 7, it looks and feels like one. Sa size naman, this is 6.9 inches tall and 3.1 inches wide na may nipis na 0.35 inches. Tignan naman natin ang sides ng phone. Sa bottom part, a microphone, headphone port, USB for charging and data transfer and is also OTG capable. And next is the loudspeaker. We do not have anything on the top. Sa left side naman ng phone, we have the SIM tray and keyhole. It has a dual SIM tray and another slot for micro SD card. On the right side, the power button and fingerprint scanner. The volume keys on the top. At the back, we have four cameras, LED flash, some text about the camera, and the cluster is enclosed on a rounded rectangular bump. Here in the lower corner is the Infinix logo. In front, we have the glass screen, no branding specified by Infinix, front-facing camera at the top left corner. We have ambient light and proximity sensor around here, and on the topmost, the ear speaker that doubles as secondary loudspeaker, and two front-facing flashlights. Now the display. Infinix Note 8 has 6.95 inches IPS display measured diagonally, 720p resolution at 20.5 by 9 ratio. With this, you can watch media content limited to 720p. We have a hole on the upper corner on the display for the cameras. The display gives good colors. It is generally vivid and good enough for our daily media needs. At almost 7 inches, this is great for video watching. On sounds, Infinix Note 8 ay mayroong dual loudspeaker. The main speaker and the ear speaker function as loudspeaker too. Ang gusto ko sa mayroong dual loudspeaker, it gives us better experience when playing games and watching videos. This is just enough, hindi masyadong mabase, and mas nasa treble side ang sound niya. We have DTS sound enhancement native in the operating system. Personally, na-enjoy ko ang dual speakers. Mayroon din siyang 3.5mm headphone port para magamit ang ating mga favorite headsets. 
And as a communication device, it can connect to 2G, 3G, and 4G cellular networks. For Wi-Fi, it is dual band capable for 2.4 and 5 GHz. Mayroon itong Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, has GPS for location identification. It also has several sensors equipped in Infinix Note 8. For phone sensors, covered ang standards. Ito ay may ambient light, proximity sensor, accelerometer to detect movements, gyroscope, electronic compass, and fingerprint sensor for security. Fingerprint detector is fairly fast. Face unlock also is here if you find it useful. On battery and charging, ito ay may 5,200 mAh battery. This is big for today's battery standards. On casual use, kaya nito magbigay ng full day of power with extra on the next day. We do now have a Type-C port. It has an 18W charger that can charge the phone around 2 hours. A safety feature also is here that stops charging when the phone is full. Now let's go to the software. Infinix Note 8 is running Android 10 with XOS as customization. Just like other Android phones, swipe left and right to switch from the home screens, swipe down para sa notification and switch menu, swipe up para sa app drawer. XOS has this instant app on the menu. Ito ay mga suggested apps that you can use while you are connected in the internet. Some might find this helpful but you can disable it if you want. XOS has additional tools like Power Marathon and it is the power management tool, a game mode, a theme store, a phone optimization tool, app clone. Nandito din ang freezer kung saan you can put apps that you can use but will not run on the background. Ang side panel ay nandito din giving shortcuts by swiping on the edges. Notable din ang bike mode wherein you can set to block calls and messages and can send auto reply while you are driving. Screen recording is also native in XOS. Pagdating naman sa performance, this phone is using MediaTek Helio G80 Octa-Core processor with graphics processor of Mali G52. Mayroon itong 6GB of RAM. This setup is said 35% better than the Infinix Note 7. Banggitin ko na din, this combination is also the same processing setup with the famous Technopova. Para sa daily tasks, this is very responsive. It can do multitasking easily, even split-screen applications, it is running very well. Helio G80 is a gaming-centric processor. When it comes to gaming, kaya naman niya ang mga graphic-intensive games on specific settings. XOS ay may built-in Game Boost tool para ma-optimize ang phone for gaming, with anti-addiction tool to remind you on your gaming schedules. Game panel din is present dito sa ating XOS by swiping on the side to check the CPU and GPU usage, shortcut to apps, take screenshot or recording, clear all background apps, off-screen ay useful para sa mga games na may autoplay, and the magic button to set the volume keys mapped on the screen tap. Mablock din ang calls and notifications ay nandito. And here are some gaming samples of the Infinix Note 8. On Call of Duty Mobile, it can do medium graphics quality with high frame rate. More than acceptable ang experience natin dito sa laro na ito. It is very responsive, smooth ang movement, and no stutters tayong na-experience. On Mobile Legends, we can do high settings and high frame rate. Maganda din ang pagkakaprocess ng game na ito sa Infinix Note 8. Smooth and detail ang elements on the game, wala rin masyadong lag and stutter style na experience Ngayon, subukan naman natin on Genshin Impact. Ang default setting niya is on the lowest. This is the optimal setting for this game. The game is heavy on graphics, pero on this setting, kayang-kaya naman niya ito. You can enjoy the environment and the colors nitong Genshin Impact. Notable din ang experience with the stereo speaker. Punta naman tayo sa photography. This phone has total of 6 cameras. At the back, a 64 megapixel main camera, 2 megapixel macro, 2 megapixel depth, and an AI lens. Ito ay aided with LED flash. Sa front naman, we have a 16 megapixel camera and a portrait camera. Mayroon ding dual LED flash sa front camera. Ang camera software ay may several camera tools. Sa topmost, nandito ang settings menu wherein you can adjust the picture size and capture tools tulad ng eye autofocus. Nandito rin ang guide to help you get the best photos. On top, you can toggle the flash, HDR, 64 megapixel, 
aspect ratio, and filters. There is also an icon giving you information on your current camera mode. Mayroon tayong short video, a video tool with animated filters, the video mode, AI camera, beauty mode, bokeh, super night, AR shot, slow motion, panorama for wide shots, document scanner, and pro mode for manual camera settings. Ang dami nating modes you can use on different situations. Take note, we do not have an ultra-wide lens dito. Sa front, we also have most of the functions, with the addition of the wide selfie. Sa front din, we can utilize the portrait shot as this is the function of the secondary camera. Sa main mode, ang AI camera. It takes pretty photos. It gives natural colors. It is snappy on well-lit situations. It also performs well on indoors. For portrait mode, it utilizes the portrait camera. I noticed na mas matagal ang shutter speed niya, so keep the phone steady when using this one. Macro shot, good for super close-up shots. Beauty mode gives smoothing and slimming enhancements. Ang super night mode naman ay good on dark areas. Slow motion, short video and AR shot is fun. Utilize panorama for wide shots dahil wala tayong ultra-wide angle lens. Document scanner is handy too for digitizing paper documents. Sa front naman, it gives natural detailed looking selfies. The video can do 720p, 1080p, and 2K resolution. Mayroon ding super steady mode and portrait mode on video. I am impressed on the video capabilities ng Infinix Note 8. front-facing camera video sample ng Infinix Note 8. Naka-on ang ating super steady mode. So kahit naglalakad tayo, hindi masyadong maalag ang video. Ngayon naman, naka-turn on ang bokeh effect ng front-facing camera video ng Infinix Note 8. To wrap up this overview, what can I say about Infinix Note 8? I can say, it is a well-rounded phone. Anong ibig sabihin? For its price of 8,490 pesos, it does well with above average on all aspects. It has big RAM and storage, great processing performance, it has good cameras, good battery, stereo speaker, great looking, and all of this for a low price. Mayroon kasing ibang phone na specific feature lang ang maganda, like good for gaming pero not good on camera, or sobrang tagal naman ng battery pero may kabagalan gamitin. Infinix Note 8, it does well on all. Ang tingin ko, iyon ang reason why Infinix Note 7 was hyped before. So is Note 8 an upgrade from the Infinix Note 7? Yes, it is. Mas mataas ang price ng Note 8 ng 500 pesos, you will get an upgrade on cameras, good video capabilities, the processor, the battery, and also a Type-C port. Ipagpapatuloy ng Infinix Note 8 ang good impression that Note 7 gave us. That is it. This is the Infinix Note 8. I hope nakatulong ito para ma-experience ninyo ang phone sa panonood lamang. Subscribe to Lanicom Views, follow nyo din sa FB, Twitter, and Instagram ang Lanicom Views. Comment kayo at pag-usapan natin ang mga views ninyo and learn from each other. This is Lanicom of Lanicom Views. Hanggang sa muli!